As I sipped my coffee, I couldn't help but smile at Jeff, my friend of many years. Today had been different, though. Not just the usual meet up for a sweet treat, but Jeff had gone out of his way to compliment my hair and outfit, something he wouldn't have done just three weeks ago. Neat? What are you talking about? Jeff questioned, his curiosity evident. I sighed and leaned closer, speaking in a hushed tone. Come on, you show up at my door, invite me out for a coffee, you even complimented my hair and outfit. That's a big step up from not even being able to look me in the eyes three weeks ago. Jeff raised an eyebrow, his face a mix of concern and confusion. Well, you've got to admit it's a little weird what happened to you. One day you're normal, and the next year. Dressed like a girl, wearing makeup, and taking ballet classes? Yeah, I nodded, my shoulders slumping. Mom's gone a bit peculiar since the divorce, but I think this is just her way of coping, and it doesn't really bother me as much as it does others. Once I move out after graduation, I'm going back to the way I was, though. Jeff nodded, understanding slowly dawning in his eyes. But why put up with it? She's going through a lot, and without Dad, it's sort of the final straw for her to get the daughter she's always wanted, I explained, my voice tinged with empathy. So, I'm trying to give her the best of both worlds. Now, spill. Jeff leaned in, his expression now a mix of hesitance and excitement. Well, I was thinking the homecoming dance is in a few weeks, and... My heart skipped a beat as I realized what he was about to ax. You'd like me to be your date? Jeff grinned, relief flooding his features. I thought you'd never ax. Mom's been bothering me for weeks asking who I was going with, and I'd rather go with a friend than one of the guys moms tried to set me up with. We both laughed, feeling the weight of my situation and the potential awkwardness of the dance melt away in the warmth of our friendship. It was a small step towards normalcy in my life, but for that moment, it meant the world. The days leading up to the homecoming dance were a whirlwind of excitement and anticipation. I couldn't believe that I, Alex, who had been navigating the peculiar world of dressing like a girl for the sake of my mom's happiness, was about to attend a high school dance with my best friend, Jeff. As the evening of the dance approached, I found myself in a quandary. My closet was a hodgepodge of clothes, with dresses, skirts, and blouses mixed in with my usual jeans and t-shirts. My mom was beaming with pride as she helped me choose a dress for the dance, her enthusiasm uncontainable. She'd probably gone a little overboard, but I couldn't deny that I looked amazing in the outfit she had selected. On the night of the dance, I met Jeff at his house, and he couldn't hide his admiration. Wow, Alex, you look stunning. He exclaimed, and his words filled me with an unexpected sense of confidence. With butterflies in our stomachs and laughter in our hearts, we arrived at the dance. I could feel the curious stares from our classmates, but Jeff's presence by my side made me forget my insecurities. We danced, laughed, and created memories that would last a lifetime. My mom might have been the reason I started this journey, but it was Jeff who made it worthwhile. As the night drew to a close, Jeff and I shared a quiet moment on the dance floor. Thanks for doing this, Alex, he said, his voice full of sincerity. I know it's been a strange few weeks for you. I smiled, appreciating his understanding. It has been, but it's also been eye-opening. I'll never forget tonight, Jeff. We shared a final dance, our friendship stronger than ever. I knew that once the dance was over, I'd go back to my usual attire and lifestyle. But this experience had taught me that, no matter what we wear or how we look, it's the people who accept us for who we are that truly matter. And in that regard, I was incredibly fortunate to have Jeff as my friend.